Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Nathan and in this video, I want to show you a new powerful open source AI model designed for agentic tasks. It's called Kimi K2. So a few days ago, the company Moonshot AI just released a new model called Kimi K2, which is probably the most powerful open source AI model to date. It has 1 trillion parameter mixture of experts model with 32 billion active parameters, so it has the same structure as DeepSeq R1 or V3. Now, what's more impressive is that Kimi K2 is built not just to answer questions, but to act. It's deeply optimized for agentic reasoning and execution, meaning it can handle multi-step tasks, use tools, as well as reasoning workflows, competing against closed source premium models like Cloud4, DeepSeq, Gemini, and OpenAI. AI03. There are two open source models that are released as open source and free to try, which are Kimi K2 Base, the foundation model for researchers and builders who want full control for fine tuning and custom solutions. And then there's the Kimi K2 Instruct, which is a chat ready version, and it's ideal for drop in usage in general purpose chat and agentic applications. Both are non reasoning models, but the reasoning models will probably be released a few weeks from now. And now, here are some benchmark scores released by the company. From here, we can see that Kimi K2 is able to surpass models like GPT-4.1 and Cloud4 Opus on coding benchmarks. It also scores new hikes on math and STEM tasks among non-reasoning systems in both IMA and GBQA tasks. In another task for creative writing, Kimi also tops the benchmark as shown here. It was said to have a distinct writing style that is free of most of the patterns associated with AI-generated tags. It consistently delivers stories that are rich with metaphors, structurally cohesive, and often thematically ambitious. The Kimi K2 site also shows some impressive demo, such as creating this 3D Minecraft sandbox world with just text prom. In this demo, I'm controlling the player with the keyboard right now, and it looks pretty decent. The texture is quite similar to Minecraft here. You have grass, trees, and different biomes. The model did a great job with this prom, and it's probably the best generation of a 3D simulation of Minecraft in comparison to other models' outputs out there. And here's another demo of a Windows XP app created under 10 minutes using Kimi K2. It's a fun app that simulates Windows XP using web technologies. There are classic apps added to this simulator, such as Notepad, Paint, calculator, control panel, and so on. Finally, in terms of the pricing, you can chat with Kimi K2 for free on its platform, which is Kimi.com, and it seems to have no limits whatsoever. If you want to access it through an API for coding assistant tools, Kimi is actually quite affordable. As usual, the pricing is based on usage per million tokens, 15 cents for cached input, 60 cents for non-cached input, and $2.50 per million output tokens. The pricing is so straightforward, and I will show you how to access the API for AI coding assistant tools like Klein, Roo, and KiloCode in the next video. And so that's it for Kimi K2. It sounds really impressive, so let's test this AI model and see for ourselves if it's really that good. Now, before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below, and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, as it will mean a lot to me, making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. So, to get started with Kimi K2, you can visit its website at kimi.com, and you'll be greeted with an input box here, similar to ChatGPT or Claw. You can also get a model card from Hugging Face if you want to run it on your own computer. Please keep in mind that you will need a premium hardware to do so. Okay, so in Kimi.com, we can just sign up for a free account by clicking on this login button. You can log in using a Google account, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And here's the interface once you're logged in. There's the chat history on the left sidebar. And below the chat box, there are several options such as enabling search and extended thinking. Now, thinking is disabled here as K2 is not a reasoning model. And then we have researcher mode for generating in-depth reports. The researcher mode is limited to 5 sessions. I think this is 5 sessions per day. And then on the right side, we have model selections. There are K2 and K1.5 model for now, which has vision feature to look at images. Next, you can add attachments using this button. And then common praise is used to save your prompts. So for example, if you select the settings here, you can create a new common praise. And then you can select that common praise to get the prompt on the chat box as follows. 
Okay, so now that we've explored the Kimi platform, let's start testing the AI performance. First, I will ask the AI to build a Brickbreaker browser game with neon-style colors and modern cool animations, make it fit the Windows screen. Click the Submit button and let Kimi work on the request. Now here, we can see that it starts generating the code, so I will fast forward to when this generation is finished. Alright, the game is now completed, so we can scroll up to see the code, and to try out this game, uh, I think we can click the preview option over here. So here's the preview on the right side, and uh, it seems the output is broken. Uh, this might be because the preview is too small. Now, there is no option to open the preview in full screen, uh, so let's try to open the source code. And then, um, maybe we can open this URL in new tab. And yeah, here we can see the preview in full screen, and we can see the bricks are now in position. Okay, so the ball can hit the bricks, the walls, and the paddle. So, uh, everything seems okay. Now, this is the game over screen, and we can play again here. Yeah, so I think this generation is quite good. So, let's open a new chat and try another task. Now, for the second task, I will ask K2 to create a Minecraft clone similar to the demo presented before. This prompt is exactly the prompt used in the demo, and I just add a little down here to add a house and a lake to the generation. So, press enter again and let Kimi K2 work on the request. It will take a while for Kimi to complete this request, so I will skip ahead to when this generation is finished. Okay, so here's the result generated by Kimi. It seems pretty good, so let's open this in a separate tab. Uh, let me do it slowly so you can do it as well. So first, right click on the browser and then select the inspect element. And then look for this file view content div and expand on that line. You should find a blob URL as shown here, so just right click on the URL and then select open in new tab. And now the result is open in a separate tab like this. So let's test this demo. So um, I can look around by moving the mouse. And then I can walk around using the WASD keyboards. And then I can jump with the space button. Now I can also place the cubes here by clicking the mouse. Left click to create or destroy blocks. Okay, now I can select block types with numpads from 1 to 6. Now switch the block type and try to place it. So the stone type creates this gray block. And um, hmm, and this water block seems to create a regular earth block. Now what if we try the flower block? Okay, it's creating this green block. Now try the leaf block, I guess. Now it creates a blue water block. So it seems the block types down here do not match the actual rendered block. But aside from that, I think this generation is pretty good. I also asked for a house and a lake, but it seems there's no house around here. Let's walk around a bit. Um, this seems to be a lake. Okay, it's a small kind of lake. But yeah, overall, this is what has been generated by Kimi2. I'm in Kimi K2, so it's quite good really. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. Now back to Kimi K2, I think the model is pretty good in doing common developments such as web-based games and 3D texture. I haven't tried its creative writing capabilities yet, but I will try them later in my spare time. A Minecraft clone was said to be one of the most difficult prompts for most models to accomplish, and Kimi K2 can create it in a single prompt. We can control the character, add blocks to the world, although the blocks generated don't match up with the selected block type. Still, K2 did a great job with this prompt, and it's probably one of the best generations of a 3D simulation of Minecraft in comparison to other models' outputs. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. So, what do you think about the Kimi K2 model? I encourage you to test the model as well and see how it performs for your use cases. 
I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Koei Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.